Hello and welcome to Reviews on Oileke TV. I am Anthonia Omokolo. And I am Chiwande Otisiago. So reports have been making round about uh, Anambra, Anam Anambra State lawyer by the name Adachuku Okafo, who reported uh, inserted hot knife into the private part of a girl living with her, her maid, who is 10 years old. Chiwendo. <laughs> This, first of all, this is a very sad situation. Very and the, f the funniest thing is that she was declared wanted and they placed a two million naira prize and she surrendered herself voluntarily. voluntarily. What do you have to say? Looking at, why would you even think, think of, of putting, putting a, a sharp, uh, a hot, sharp object into the private part of not just anybody a child not like that is even excusable in the first place but a 10 year, year old, old for crying out loud what do you think was going through her mind what could that child have possibly done did she did she do something so bad that there was no other punishments you couldn't tell her to kneel yeah. down or you couldn't uh, give up tell her you're grounded or maybe no other punishment came to your mind and you decided to put a knife on the fire and put this allowed it to get hot and you inserted it wow <laughs> honestly Athonia, this is a very pathetic um situation because as a last week i actually saw the you know pictures on on, on social media where they were asking people like, in case you see this lady please report and you paid two million naira and i'm i'm happy that she actually came out on her own and i want to commend the anambra state government for this um, great move they took and I, when i was reading the old you know story i realized that the girl is better that was what i was after she's okay and she has been discharged but you know living with children at below 10 9 it's not really easy because you know you know they have different upbringing you don't know but me i usually advise people because i have a friend that also stay with a young girl and i know the girl steals the girl lies and all that thing. and i say okay you cannot control this girl's attitude just send her back to her parents because sometimes when you punish them you beat them you do everything to them to get them to the right attitude that you want they don't always change so instead of using hot iron to put inside somebody's private part because even till the next 20 years that mark is still there and i also read that she used and hot high on, on her botox so if you check the botox now you see that there are marks and scars there that can never go even when she gets married she will still these scars will still be there that is a very very bad you know that's a very very bad one i won't even comment that but i really thank god that she came out voluntarily to surrender herself to the police you know uh that i i get the fact that these um women or women in general bring young children, maybe if they put to bed or they just want someone assisting, assisting them. them. They don't want to employ nannies or get maybe an adult who would do the, They just bring maybe a distant family member or whatnot to come stay with them. I understand that part. Yeah. But what is not excusable, what cannot be neglected is you trying to inflict injury Pain. on that child all in the name of correcting or trying to mold the child. There are other better ways to punish There are better child. ways to reprimand a child. Of there course. are better ways to discipline a, a child. child. Other than some people, this, this, okay, yes, hot, uh, hot knife. Some, some people flog children. Of course. To the extent that blood will come out <laughs> of their <laughs> body. There will be scars. They would have scars for life. This is not, you can ask them to maybe write on a, uh, I'm sorry, ma, I will not do it again like from, a thousand times. on a, a thousand times or say this hundred leaves uh, notebook, write it or give them other punishment, punishment or maybe force them to read or um, say no TV, no this. Yes, I understand that some children can be a handful. Regardless of the punishment. Yes, regardless of the punishment. It's, it's more like the punishment is adding more fear to their misbehavior. Yes, you but this should not provoke you to inflict injuries on children I, that, I, I, I really wonder what other thing can someone do sometimes when you punish a child you discipline the child they don't change especially this generation i've noticed this among people but i don't know going to the extent of you using high on and um this on a botox is that it's, was it's, that was totally extreme. uncalled for it's, yes, it's, it's totally uncalled for i feel parents should be uh 
a lot more patient. Yes, we understand that children can be a handful. A lot more patient. Yeah. And no matter what, just be conscious of the fact that you don't have to inflict injuries okay. to instill discipline in your child. You don't have to. You can... There are a thousand and one things that you can do. But that's you take them do. back to their parents. Yes. You cannot, if you, you can't know, cope, stand, yes. if you can't cope with these children you've brought to uh, live with you to help you out, because you brought them for a purpose course, to help, you, to help out. you out. If you can't cope, then just return them back to their parents and get a nanny oh, that may not live in your house, house or something, rather than inflicting injuries on you've scarred that years, child for years, life. Just too small. Whenever, even if she goes for therapy. Even if she goes for therapy or something to recover for di- from this, the scar will still be, be there. there. And just imagine she's taking her bath. She would always remember. remember. It's totally uncalled for. Um, thank you so much for joining us on today's review. Uh, kindly follow us on all our social media platforms at Owelake TV. Our website is www.owelake.tv. I am Antonia Mukolo. And I am Chiwendi Osisiago. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ubeleke TV, rising star at the fairground.